Hi guys, we're here at the 2014 August uh, Cycle Tour Expo. Um, quite an important show for us. Uh, a lot of guys ask us uh, why come to a road race Cycle Tour Expo environment. Uh, it's quite easy for us. We know that pretty much everyone has a mountain bike and uh, if they don't, they want one. So for us, this was an opportunity to maybe talk about what do we do next. Um, our involvement with the Cargo Pro Mountain Bike Team next level for us in terms of um, where we want to take the brand. It's also opened up opportunities to develop um, more race specific products, which is where we really want to go. So one of the, the latest developments which literally arrived yesterday um, would be a brand new train stay. This is something that is literally fresh out the mold. So um, it's, it, it gives an idea of the shape that we're still busy with final testing. Um, what that means is we will push very hard to have this ready for World Cup number one in Maritzburg. It's a dedicated uh, one by 11 train stay. Um, no chance of a front derailleur being able to fit here. It's a lot beefier, chunkier, um, stiffer, and it kind of shows that we're going a bit more progressive in terms of the uh, usability of the bike. The other cool part about this, this change day is if you have a current Viper, uh, you would be able to, to purchase this as an individual item if you wanted to try a 1x11 um, drivetrain. So, um, more race specific, but at the same time giving the bike more versatility if you already own a bike. We also launched a lady specific uh, colorway, which is something we've, we've lacked. Um, it will be the exact same bike. Same material, same wheel travel, it's just a um, lady specific colorway, available as a frame set, probably around July September. Quite 29 is specific, but uh, again, pushed by the, the needs of the team and, and the more uh, race orientated guys, we go with a negative 20 degree drop uh, full carbon stem. This is 100% our own design. 3D modeling internally um, and, well. and we went through a few conversions before we finalized um, a small medium, kind of like uh, compact frame sizes, so a small medium, 60mm extension, and we also offer a 90mm version which is um, on show at, at the expo on one of the bikes. Um, what this does is it brings the front end a little bit lower, which everyone's trying to do. mode and also get back to where they were possibly on a smaller wheel like a 26 inch bike. So we go 60 more minus 20 degrees. The, the design of the stem is also quite important in that it has that, um, that angle shape and we would not be able to get negative 20 in this length without touching the, either the, the top of the uh, headset or the frame. So, so we, we get that, uh, that bend in it, gets you super low. is also completed with the, the new handlebar. Um, it, it comes in a positive five rise, which would be kind of what most people are, are, are running currently. And then by flipping the bar, we get a sort of negative five. So it's kind of a split personality and the combination of the stem and the handlebar gets you super low. If you want to go to an intermediate setting, you would just flip the bar to the positive 5 and you're still running for the low stem. Stems are available currently, two colorways, um, red as well as a white option. The 90 more version is probably 4 to 6 weeks away from the US There will also be a ladies colorway for um, pink graphics on both, both items. In, in terms of Viper, we're going to um, extend the line, so for 20 We'll see um, a slight update uh, visually on, on the current um, frame as well as um, the choice of going to do a team issue version of the, of the frame which will be standard with the chain state. Um, ladies model I spoke about, uh, it takes us to three and um, there is a possibility of hopefully something a little bit more um, price sensitive. Thank you.